In this Adobe After Effects tutorial, we'll be learning to make loading circle animation and we'll be doing that in a very simple way. So let me first create a new composition. I'll name this loading circle. 1920 by 1080 resolution is fine and have a frame rate of 30 frames per second with a duration of 8 seconds and I'll hit OK. So we'll have to create a shape layer. But before that, I'll click on this button here and click on title or action safe so that we can see the center point here. I'll click on this pen tool and create a line, something like this. Make sure you set the fill options to none and ensure that the stroke is set to solid and also set the stroke width to around 5. The next thing is to animate the shape layer. I'll expand the properties. I'll expand transform. And I'll click on this timer button here for opacity. Make sure you're at the first frame. And go to around 29th frame here. And set this to 0. And also make sure to trim the shape layer to around 1 second. The next thing is to animate the rotation. I'll hold Alt key on my keyboard. I'm using Windows, so I'll hold Alt key. If you're using Mac, use the Option key. So I'll hold Alt on my keyboard and click on this Timer button here for rotation so that an expression editor opens up. I'll open the brackets. I'll type in index minus 1 multiplied by 10. All right. And now I'll duplicate this shape layer multiple times. I can go to edit and click on duplicate or I can use control plus D on my keyboard. So I'll use control D multiple times so that it gets duplicated like this. Now you can notice that after duplicating it 35 times with a total of 36 layers, you can see that a perfect circle is formed. And I'll hold control on my keyboard and hit A so that all of these shape layers are selected. I'll right click and from keyframe assistant, I'll click on sequence layers. Ensure that the overlap is checked and set the duration to 29 frames. And I'll hit OK. Go to the last keyframe here and Reduce the work area something like this and right click and click on trim comp to work area. If we start playing this, you can see that this is how the circle animation is happening. Now I'll go to composition and create a new composition. I'll drag the loading circle composition into the new one that we've created. I'll duplicate this by holding Ctrl D on my keyboard. And as soon as the circle is finished, I will move the duplicated layer here so that we can have a loop created. So you can duplicate the composition multiple times depending on the duration that you need. And you can generate a nice looping circular animation as required. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up and see you guys next time with another tutorial.